Batos Locos, welcome back again to my kitchen, Chico Locos kitchen. Alright, so this time we're gonna make some pancit from the Philippines. Yes, we got a brand new wok. Alright, we're gonna use one bag of the noodles. About this size, you're gonna cut in half because we're not gonna make that much. Some string beans, carrots, onion, about half a head of uh, garlic. We got some magic set up. Wow. All right, some black pepper, soy sauce, and some chicken stock. We got, there's two cubes here. We're just gonna use one. And some chicken. I like chicken, so we're gonna use two of the breast. Yeah, breast. All right, so we're gonna start chopping. Be right back. Okay, so here we are. This is how we wanna cut, right? We want this in little strips. There's a cube in pieces, all right? Some uh, pieces like this also, strip, chop, chop, choppy, choppy. Okay, so now we're going to uh, start by putting in the oil, about half a cup of oil. There we go. And we're gonna saute the garlic. All right, let it get browned a little. When that's done, we're gonna add some more stuff, okay? All right, so here we are, see, a little bit brown, all right? So when it gets to that, we're gonna add the onion. We're gonna get, let this saute a little bit also, and then the next ingredient. All right, so as you can see, just a little bit, okay? About a minute or two, now we're going to add some chicken. Alrighty. Alright. We're going to let this cook a little bit. Amigos, I forgot to tell you, we're going to add some oyster sauce also. Okay. Just a little bit for now. We can add more later. Alright. And we're going to add a little bit of the soy sauce. Okay. There you go. About that much. Quiet, quiet. <laughs> All right. Check this out. See? Got that beautiful brown color. All right. So now we're going to add the carrots. There you go. Turn it, flip it, there you go, you gotta flip it, so it tastes good, just flip it around, alright, next is the string beans, string beans, there you go, it's looking good and it's smelling good, in Chico Loco's kitchen. Yeah, baby! Alright, so now you're gonna have your flour spoon. Yeah. We're gonna use about half of the flour spoon. Don't worry, we'll put more later. But at this time, that's what you're gonna do. Alright? You're gonna put out the half of the magic. Yep, that's enough. Half of the season the thing my jiggy <laughs> half of the cube right here chicken flavor all right we're gonna move it a little bit spread that around to all that little veggies and little chicken and now we're gonna add the cabbage there we go. Don't forget to wash the cabbage, okay, before you put it in. Turn it, flip it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It is fancy time. Okay, since it's looking a little bit light because we put the cabbage and stuff in there, 
the color is going away so we need to put a little bit more of the brown color okay and fix it some more we want a little brown color to come back come back don't go come back there you go brown color coming back okay since we have it cooked already for about five minutes we have to remove it okay we're gonna put put it here all right we're gonna put everything there because we got to cook the noodles in that little sauce that is there be right back so we got the vegetables removed because we don't want them too much overcooked i like them a little crispy now what the next step we're gonna add some hot water okay about a quarter of this so it might need more let me see about that much water okay all right since we have removed the vegetables we're gonna add the rest of the seasoning to you half the flour spoon i like this spoon so cute the other half of the flavorful chicken stock and the other half of the magic Whee! there you go so swirl it swirl it swirl it all right we got golden meat not me this meat It's like trying to open potato chips, it's just gonna fly everywhere. Right. Like that. Okay. Like that. Uh huh. Yep. And like that. Right. We're gonna move it around when it gets soft. It's just gonna separate itself. Right now it's hard, like the kappa noodles, Roman noodles, Manchurian noodles. Just let it put in the water. Put in the water. Everything has to go in the water. Give it all that flavor. See, this one's getting soft already. Coming apart. All right, so now as you can see, it's very soft. See, came apart already that's why you put enough water because it's going to absorb it see guys it's going to suck it up just suck up all that water and make it like a noodle you can also add the thick noodle that canton okay but for today we're just going to add the little thin one all right remember the color you want brown hey go away again so, a little bit more soy sauce. This is oyster. And this is the soy. Like I said, come back, brown color, come back. There you go. Coming back. Give you all that nice flavor with the sauces. Almost done, almost done. So, next, we're gonna add the vegetables that we took out. As you can see, it's now ready. Okay, it has served all the little water. Okay, made it brown. We're gonna add the vegetables again. All right, there we go. Now, move it around. Upside down, sideways, that way, and this way. It's like a big knot of uh, yarn, but just keep on mixing it. Keep on mixing it. It'll be all right. It'll be all right. Okay, you'll see the final product in a minute. Okay, as you can see, you can check if the water is gone. It's good. See? Water gone. All right, so now it is time to serve. You just gotta put like this. There you go. That's enough, okay, that's good right there, one serving. 
but like some of us we like to eat a lot so we're gonna eat tonight yeah baby look at that. ah so delicious <sighs> all right thank you amigos again for visiting me in my kitchen it's gonna be our kitchen all right don't forget to subscribe thank you the videographer chef ling ling thank you and see you on the next one